Hi guys, good morning. It is currently 8.43 in the morning and I am in SF, San Francisco. As you've probably seen in the beginning clips, um, I, in the last two days, we've arrived two days ago, but in the last two days, I've been so hyper-focused on family things, um, you know, meeting up with uh, family members and um, just taking care of some <clears throat> family things that I really did not have the time to have a sit-down chat and just absorb being in SF. It's been since 2019 since I had traveled and this is the first place I decided to come because of course like I said family things so I am currently in the hotel and it is guys the last two days that I've been here besides um, landing it's been hot there was a heat wave <laughs> at the last two days so we're talking about it was anywhere from like low 80s to like low hundreds degrees fahrenheit you know honestly it's not too different from hawaii besides hawaii being humid during the summertime so it wasn't terrible but i packed for cold sf so when i first arrived it was great i had a light down and i threw it over a denim jacket which was fine i, I felt comfortable i was fine but then luckily i don't know what in me said hey bring this polo so you can wear it underneath or bring this light um i brought my light cropped uh white shirt and that helped me in the last two days but now and thank goodness it is cold again because really all i have are um jackets and then on top of that i bought another jacket times two <laughs> on the first two days I, I apologize i really wanted to vlog you know going to the outlet but i was very hyper focused to going to the stores that i wanted to because of course these dumb old legs um can only walk so much so um i did end up going to the gucci store which i got something i think i mentioned that somewhere not too sure um i also got um something from prada i did go to bottega didn't really see anything there i wanted to go to burberry but the line was long for that store out of all the stores that i went to that line was long and i did not want to wait especially because of the heat wave and then um i just went to little other random stores but i only did um buy two things so far and can't wait to show you guys in a haul um but besides that in trader joe's i haven't really um bought anything oh i know i paid a 35 dollar violation fee because we literally miss the meter by maybe like two or three minutes okay so because of that i already paid the meter for like 29 minutes just wanted to pick up some like pizza slices and dig out apparently that went over the 29 minutes so that costed me it costed my husband 50 dollars worth of pizza on top of like a 30 minute parking which was maybe like a dollar and something cents and then 35 dollars 
so that I paid for. Um, anywho, today the weather is, let me show you guys. So right now the weather is 68 degrees Fahrenheit and um, it looks like to be the highest it will go is 82 degrees, thank goodness. I don't know if it is a down day. Um, I got my face done which was really hard. I forgot how hard it was to get ready in front, not being in front of a close mirror. I'm used to doing makeup in a front, like very close mirror, um, very far. So um, if I'm growing like little hairs, I can't see it. I, I, I might need to go and buy a magnifying mirror, which I, sh I should do today actually. So the plans for today, is to go to Union Square um, and do a lot of the touristy things today, like see the Chinatown. My one thing that I wanted to do was go to Jin Tai Fung. Uh, I haven't gone there since 2018, I believe, and I miss it. No, 2019, I miss it so much. So I can't wait to go there. Um, otherwise, that we've been enjoying, um, you know, SF. We are in the... Um, walnut creek area um where we have family here so um but we've been venturing out um there is so many cool things that um i had found at my aunt's house so i wanted to show it to you guys i don't know if i should do a separate video because there's kind of a uh, few things but there's one thing in particular that i want to show you guys which i was like oh, let me show you sorry there's two amazing pieces but i will save the other one for another video because i'm just sitting right now well let me grab the item that i am talking about Urgh, i hope i didn't move that much but this is the item that i'm talking about it is a vintage vintage gucci bag this is probably from the 80s or the 90s the accessory collection um but it is white gg monogram back and front and then it has all of the pebbled leather throughout the sides it has the vintage gg very interesting it has this flap here the magnetic button and this is the inside the one thing about this bag though is the strap is actually broken on one side so all it really needs is a screw for this side and then it will work again but you know what i think this is such a cute like little clutch as well and i'm thinking um i'm wondering if gucci will repair it um but then if you see here too it says it is the Gucci accessory collection has two main pockets and one zipper down the middle um I am planning to get it uh authenticated online to see if it is real I by the looks and the feels of it and someone who's had um Gucci bags I, I also have a vintage one from my mom I know in my heart of hearts that it is an authentic bag I know I just want it for peace of mind and then when I know the peace of mind I want to ask if I can repair vintage bags does anybody know if Gucci repairs vintage bags let me know but I'm wondering if I am crafty enough to um, repair it myself um, it looks like a little uh, or two little gold screws but I mean if Gucci can you know if gucci is able to repair it, that'd be great and i just noticed that there is slight cracking here and here but otherwise that for a vintage piece she is clean i don't even know if my i, I could tell my aunt had used it but she hasn't used it a lot probably because it had broke and then she stopped using it but i think she's in gorgeous shape 
just needs a little TLC, but it's even cute as like a little clutch moment too. I don't have too much clutches in my collection anymore because I just didn't feel um, like they were a part of, they're just not easy to wear. So I'm going to try to see if I can get this repaired, but oh my God, she's so beautiful. Um, she's like an 80s or 90s bag, so she's definitely vintage. Um, sometimes I feel like 80s and 90s wasn't that long ago, but honestly, that's like 40 years ago. Uh, so I, this is one of the treasures that I found. Um, I also found some other small little things, but I will show you guys that in a different video. But yeah, I my husband is currently at the gym. Um, we're still determining whether or not we're going to take the BART to go to SF, uh, to Union Square, or if we're just going to drive there. We do have a rental. Um, I mean, we spent so much on the rental. I mean, I feel like we should just use it. Even he complained about the price for the toll, which would be like $44, but we just paid $35 for the fine for a parking violation. So is really $44 that terrible? I, I, I don't think so. But um, I'm just gonna relax. I might, um, since he's in the gym, I might edit a little bit and then um, change and leave. <sighs> I'm exhausted, guys. Some, I mean, traveling isn't really relaxing unless you force some relaxation into your trip um i have no massages planned i just really just want to do all the cool touristy things i haven't been here for decades um and just have fun um hopefully my legs are not a huge problem but otherwise that i will see you guys throughout this trip i'm planning to bring my camera today because i'm doing more touristy things so see you guys soon
Swear I lost my fucking mind and my emotions They tryna play me like the boy don't really know shit Said in tears, now my eyes is like the ocean I'm sick and tired, but I'm addicted to the bullshit These days, bitches tryna play me like a fool with these contracts When I dropped out, I had to clear all my contacts 2020 saw my goals clear with no context So I'm motherfucker made it here and I'm still stressed And yeah, I'm still stressed Mama told me count my blessings, but I don't feel blessed I'm on chill when I still ain't made a meal yet Still chasing dreams, cause this shit don't feel real yet Good morning guys. So today is I think let's see what city's date. Um today is Friday the seventh. It's almost it's just past 9 30 in the morning. Um I am getting ready. It is our final full day in SF. Yesterday was so much things packed into one day. So we left um our hotel at about maybe around this time and um we drove into the city and where is my what in the world where did i put my sunscreen <sighs> i did leave it out there so we went to the city and we did not come home till about maybe like quarter to 11 p.m um the city drive from here um, to um, Union Square is about a little under two hours, but it doesn't really account for um, any traffic. Uh, got to see the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, you know me, your girl likes to shop. However, I only wanted to hit shops that I am not able to get at home so um, of course one of the first places that I wanted to go to oops sorry guys you moved <laughs> sorry so one of the places that I wanted to make sure to go to was the Goyard um, I did try to look at the website before I went to kind of get an idea of if, if there's anything that I would want I looked at some stuff and I even had like a minimum item expectation that I wanted as well. They were sold out. A lot of the other things I checked out, you know, honestly guys, I don't, I like Goyard on other people. I just don't know if I like it for myself. Um, but because I was able to um, meet somebody in person, um, they gave me their information. So now I am able to, um, get help from them via um direct sales um i just i don't know i i don't really know what i was looking for like i had some things on my like i screenshot it as maybe as a wish list but i honestly didn't love anything when i was there but by the power of suggestion i kept seeing people all over with it and i just kept thinking about it but you know realistically i didn't feel like anything and the one item that my minimum expectation item and the item that my coworker wanted was sold out so decided not to get anything but i did walk away with something again um i have a future ca who can help me whenever I do see something that I really want. Um, we also went to, I know we have a Levi's here, um, not here currently, but at Hawaii, but this is their flagship store in Union Square. So I wanted to see if they have anything cool. So one of the most important things I was looking for is um, made in Japan, uh, vintage and made and crafted found out that Main and Crafted is getting discontinued so of course they didn't have they have some men's uh, vintage um, didn't see any women's they said it went on sale but I didn't see any there in my size um, I didn't look at any other size I'm not about to buy sizes that I don't fit and um, 
I also most importantly love made in Japan pieces. Um, one of my favorite denim that I've been rotating like all the time, I will show you guys a picture here, is a made in Japan barrel style denim. Luckily, I they didn't have any out, so I asked somebody and he was such a great person who helped me there. I think his name was um, Everson, something like that, at the Union Square sorry Millie's for at the Union Square Le Levi's and he was fantastic he pulled out all the styles that they just kind of had randomly um, from the back in my size and if you follow me on Instagram you had seen the items that I tried on that was in my size which which wasn't much but thank God it wasn't because they were like $250 a piece N not so much I definitely spent more I know but I could have got more crazy you know um, so I was able to get that I'm kind of sad because I know that before um, in Hawaii like if somebody was to return um, items because the the made in Japan items that they had was returned from people who bought it online and didn't fit them or they decided they didn't like it um all looked brand new tags attached and everything but anyways they um in hawaii what they used to do i don't know if they do that anymore was they would mark it half off because these are products that they no longer sell but i'm wondering if it's because it's hawaii and then it's like um you know it's it's a different shipping and everything is different in Hawaii so I wonder that so I did get a couple pieces from the made in Japan collection um, so that I'm happy about um, one of the most exciting things I've ever wanted to do was take the cable car and we did and it was actually pretty fun um, I quite enjoyed myself what I did not enjoy was um, a guy who I was sitting down because your girl's legs um, so I was sitting down and I didn't like that the guy there's two guys who decided they want to stand okay why they stood in front of me and Jaren I have no freaking idea um, Jaren hated it um, I don't mind it too much um, but because uh, he was a gay guy but my has it, it blocked the view so that's why I, I think that's what really irritated me not the fact that um, there was guys standing in front of me well, I really wanted to film and they were in front of me, so I couldn't film a lot. So, um, what you saw is kind of all I had. <laughs> um, and then, um, on the way back, my husband decided to be the person who stood in front of me, so nobody else did. Um, which was fine, but at that point I didn't want to film the same thing because I ended up sitting, I didn't realize that I was sitting in the same area, so I didn't want to do a repeat. Um, we ended up going to see parts of the Golden Gate Bridge. We weren't really excited to see it because the day was so foggy. And as you probably had seen in, you know, the beginning, it, it was foggy still. So, so um, we got to see just a little sneak peek. We drove under it and checked them off the touristy wish list, right? Um, we didn't go to much other. I know there was other places I could have shopped but um, SF, their tax is about double our Hawaii tax. So, you know, I like I said, I did not want to go to places where I have at home. It makes no sense where I can get for less tax unless it's a special SF piece, um, which I know that most designer stores do not do anymore. So I didn't bother checking. Um, however, we one of the biggest things we did want to do today was go to a Din Tai Fung, which we did. Um, so after we were done doing all the SF shenanigans, um, seeing some of the touristy things, we drove over to a mall called Westfield, um, Westfield Mall, and we went to go have dinner at Din Tai Fung. Wait was like an hour plus, so we ended up um, shopping around, and the mall had a gentle monster. Again, a store that we don't have, but you guys know that I am a huge fan on this channel, so of course we had to go in, and I was determined to buy something, and your girl did. Um, uh, the Jenny Gentle Salon collection is there, so um, because I bought something from her curb, 
first collection, I really wanted something on her second collection. And when I signed up for emails online, it's a little bit hard to try on any of the styles because Jenny is a very petite small girl. I am not. So the size of glasses matter. So I did find a pair that I really like bummed that the charm uh, that I want which is the capybara wasn't available they were also out and they weren't sure if they were getting any type of restock um, so I picked my favorite out of the ones that they had left and I rolled with it I have not opened it yet um, but my gosh I didn't think I was going to be shopping it's not a lot but it's a lot for me in a very long time Mm, so that hauls to come soon <laughs> but i'm gonna continue getting ready guys and um today is the last day thank goodness i bought a second battery so i'm able to film a little bit more without charging and then i will catch up with you guys later um happy last day sf it's hard to make it happen Actions getting tough, I'm folding to my habits I've been wondering the last time I was happy Bitch run up, I'll pop you like some acne, yeah I was depressed, so I had to keep that shit a secret Sipping something strong, it's gon' make up for my weakness Been a long year, always working on the weekends Got a lot of fears, but I gotta go and pretend Things gon' change like the seasons And I'm okay with you leaving it's getting kinda hard to find a reason But this little dream gon' keep me breathing This little dream gon' keep me breathing, yeah